for those of you who are new to EFT, I'm quickly going to do a quick explanation on EFT and how it works. But if you're new to EFT, then you are about to be introduced to a superpower. Okay, it is a phenomenal self-care tool, something that I'm extremely passionate about. So I better introduce myself for anybody who doesn't know me. So my name is Yvonne. Um, my name is Yvonne Seymour. I'm an EFT practitioner and a personal development coach. And I help women like you and me who struggle with confidence to believe in themselves again. And one of the ways I do that is through EFT. So EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique or is otherwise known as tapping. Okay, so when we tap, we tap on the acupressure points on the upper body. And when we do that, what we're doing is we are sending a really nice vibration back to the back of the brain, back to our amygdala, where all our emotional memories are stored. And it's also where um, our emotional responses come from. So if we enter into the fight, flight or free zone or fawn, there's four, um, we have a stress response, okay? So that can be either becoming emotional, being in pain, physical pain, um, or emotional pain. It can be when we enter into fear, um, anxiety, depression, there are so many things, okay? A stress response can be a food craving, as, we have, uh, as I have recently um, realized. If you have a food craving, it's a stress response to something that has happened during that day or earlier that day or maybe the day before okay so EFT can literally help with anything it can help with anything okay it can help reduce and release anything that you're going through right now okay so it's something that I'm extremely passionate about how does it work basically what we do is we tap, tap into the subconscious consciously <laughs> and we unravel the stuff that's in there so for example if you have we'll just take something like not good enough if you have a feeling like i'm not good enough okay somewhere in your lifetime you learned that okay um and you learned it off somebody okay so somebody made you feel you weren't good enough and it's not a blame game it's about creating an awareness of where that not good enough came from okay because when you unravel where it came from it allows you to look at it uh, to look at that situation or to look at that feeling of not feeling good enough in a totally new perspective so um and instead of staying stuck in that feeling of not good enough then you allow yourself to come out of it and to look at it objectively and ask yourself really is that really how i feel and nine times out of ten you will realize that's not how i feel that was somebody else's perspective of me that's not mine that's their stuff it's not mine so i'm going to release it and let it go okay so eft it helps you to get to that place okay of acknowledging it there's three words i use with eft acknowledge accept and release okay and it's in its simplest terms that's what eft is acknowledging what's going on acknowledging how you're feeling accepting that that's there and that feeling is there instead of choking it down we accept it when you when you allow acceptance into your body then it automatically reduces any stress response and your body needs to accept what's going on it needs to it needs that acknowledgement of this is what's happening right now and that's okay that's just how i feel and that's okay your body needs that because we store our emotional memories and our emotional responses in our body and that can that can lead to it can manifest into illness it can manifest into pain it can manifest into being stuck and not knowing how to move forward okay so when we acknowledge it we're acknowledging to our body and our mind this is what's happening and that's okay okay or maybe it's not okay that's just how i feel right now and that's how i feel but it's acknowledging that feeling okay and then we try and move towards a place where we release it okay so there's kind of a three-step process acknowledging it accepting it and releasing it and when i say accepting it it doesn't mean that we succumb to it it just means that we're acknowledging and that you become a victim of it it means that you're acknowledging that that's there right now and that's how you feel and instead of ignoring it you're looking at it okay 
So it's a really good technique to help you to do that. Okay, so I'm quickly going to tap around the acupressure points for you. Okay, for anybody who's new to EFT. And um, um, I won't explain what each point means because I'd be here forever. Um, but I'll quickly go around. I'm going to do a thing called tap and breathe to get you started. Okay. So when we tap and breathe, we don't use any words. We literally just allow EFT to come in and work its magic without really thinking about anything or, or um, talking about anything. Okay. So whenever you're ready, okay, I want you to sit with a straight back, place both feet on the ground and just come into the space. Okay, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Now I just want you to acknowledge how you're feeling. Okay, so I want you to do a quick body scan. And I want you to ask yourself, how am I feeling today? What's going on for me today? And however you're feeling, I just want you to acknowledge it. So if you're feeling good, acknowledge it and notice your heart fill up with gratitude. And if you're not feeling so good, that's okay, just acknowledge it. And hopefully when you acknowledge it and, and um, you move out of resistance and into acknowledgement, uh, that will hopefully help it to reduce straight away. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to gently tap on the acupressure points. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So I would usually start off on a statement, a, a setup statement, but because it's tap and breathe, I'm not going to be starting with any setup statement. When we start with a setup statement, it's usually calling out something that's going on for us right now. So even though I have this feeling of not feeling good enough, I acknowledge that that's how I feel right now and that's okay. We would normally start with that. Okay, why do we tap on the karate chop? Because the karate chop is where we do the setup statement. It's where we call out the negative statement of what's going on for us. So it's like the truth of the matter. And that allows us to call out that negative statement because if you're telling yourself that you're feeling great even though you're not, then you're not going to really say anything. You're going to resist it. So it's to break down that resistance. So we start with, even though I feel I'm not good enough right now, I acknowledge that that's how I feel. And that's okay. And it might be okay. So I acknowledge that that's how I feel right now. And I'm just going to take a look at it. Okay, so that's a set of statement. So, but for now, we're going to move into, we're just going to tap and breathe. So we're just going to go straight to the eyebrows. Okay. So I'm going to take you around the points. So we start in the eyebrows. Okay. And you can tap with both hands or one hand. There's no right or wrong with it. As long as you're tapping somewhere, you're getting ready. Okay. So go to the eyebrows. Okay. And we're gently going to, I'm going to keep my eyes open, but you can close your eyes in this if you want to. So we're just tapping gently. Okay, and we're going to take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Move into the side of the eyes. Gently take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Moving under the eye. Whenever you're ready, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Moving under the nose and whenever you're ready, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Under the mouth. Whenever you're ready, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Move into the collarbones. Whenever you're ready, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Move into under the arm, so just on your bra strap, or three inches down from your armpit. Okay, so gently tapping, you can't see me. <laughs> so, whenever you're ready, take a deep breath in 
And breathe out. Movement at the top of the head. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Okay, so that is a quick round of the typical points. Usually I introduce the finger points, but I do that when we're doing a live session. Okay, but normally in my pre-recorded sessions, you will usually see me just using those points that we've used there. Okay, so that is how you tap. There's no right or wrong, so don't worry about getting it wrong. As long as you're tapping somewhere, you're sending a vibration back to that, back to that amygdala, and that's the main thing. Okay, so there's four phases. We talk about four phases in EFT, and it is calming and connecting and clearing and completing. Okay, so there are four phases. That's the objective of the exercise. So it's to calm the stress response. It's to connect with whatever's going on for you right now. Okay, and then clearing it and then completing it. Okay, so clearing whatever it is that has brought up that, that emotion. Okay, or brought up that stress response. Connect, once we connect with it, we try and clear it and then we try and complete it. So we try and bring it to a place where we're happy to just let it go. Okay.